mga kazifilis, this is Demi Friends Nindes and I'm going to discuss about the animal kingdom. Our learning objective for this lesson is to be able to identify the classification of animals according to its phylum, according to its class, and according to its order of family. So what is animal kingdom? Animal kingdom or kingdom animal is a basic group of natural objects that includes all living and extinct animals. Animals are eukaryotic, multicellular species belonging to the kingdom animalia. Every animal has its own unique characteristics. They obtain their energy either by feeding on plants or on other animals. That's why every animal plays an important role in the ecosystem. Because some animals help to bring out the nutrients from the cycle, while others help in the composition of carbon and nitrogen cycle. All animals, insects, and even microorganisms play a role in the ecosystem. All members of animal kingdom are heterotrophs, meaning they are consumers and cannot produce their own food. That's why food chain is designed. Food chain is a linear network of links in a food web starting from producer, which are plants, down to the composer species. Members of the animal kingdom are incredibly diverse. Most animals share certain features that distinguish them from organisms in other kingdoms. Classification of animal kingdom The science of classifying organisms is called taxonomy. Every species discovered so far are classified into five kingdoms, but one of them is kingdom animalia or animal kingdom. The members of kingdom animalia are further classified into different phyla, class, and family order and is based on certain identifiable characteristic features. The first classification of animal kingdom is phyla or phylum. It is the largest formal major grouping within animal taxonomy. There are three types of phylum. The first one is phylum cordata. This phylum includes everything from the smallest fish and tunicates to the great apes. It is one of 88 different known phyla. It includes organisms like mammals, fish, birds, reptiles, and amphibians. As seen in the picture above, there, these are the animals who have vertebrates. Like for example, in reptiles, we have turtle, fishes, and then birds, amphibians, and then we have mammals. Examples are whale, groundhog, and human. The second type of phylum is phylum anthropoda. The word anthropod comes from the Greek word root word arthro meaning joint and pod meaning foot. It refers to a unique feature of the group jointed legs called appendages, which vary widely in number and function. It contains a wide diversity of animals which heart exoskeleton and jointed appendages. Many familiar species belong to the phylum anthropoda. On land, we have insects, spiders, scorpions, centipedes, and millipedes. In water, we have crabs, shrimp, lobsters, and barnacles. The third type of phylum is phylum mollusca, the second largest phylum of invertebrate animals after the anthropoda. The members are known as mollusks. Mollusks are the largest marine phylum. Numerous mollusks also live in freshwater and terrestrial habitats. Terrestrial habitats is they can live in forests, grassland, deserts, shorelines, and wetlands. Mollusk species can also represent hazards or pets for human activities. Characteristic of mollusks is they are unsegmented and bilaterally symmetrical. Examples of mollusks are slug, cuttlefish, oyster, squid, limpet, snail, scallop, mussel, octopus, nautilus, clam, and winkle. The next classification of animal kingdom is class. It is the ranking below phyla, whose members share the characters of the phylum, but are have advanced characters that make them unique. So under the class, we have animal classification, either the animals is vertebrates or invertebrates. These are the examples of class. Number one, amphibians are small vertebrates that need water or a moist environment to survive. They can breathe and absorb water through their very thin skin. Amphibians also have special skin glands to produce useful proteins. The species in this group include frogs, toads, salamanders, and newts. Reptiles Reptiles are more suited for terrestrial life than are amphibians. Some of the major characteristics of reptiles include They have dry, scaly skin. They possess limbs suited for rapid locomotion. They have copulatory organs that permit internal fertilization. They lay eggs on land that has a leathery outer covering which prevents them from drying out on land. These are the four major classes of reptiles. Order Crocodilia or the crocodiles and alligators. Order Squamata or the lizards and snakes. Order Rhynchocephalia or the Tuatara. And Order Chelonia 
turtles and tortoise. Fish Fishes are cold-blooded aquatic vertebrates with fins and gills. It comes in a variety of shapes and sizes. Most are torpedo shape or fusiform, so they can travel efficiently in water. Fishes breeds are taking oxygen through their gills while swimming underneath the water. The three basic orders of fishes are the order agnata or the jawless fish, and the examples are lampreys and hagfishes. The order contractees are the cartilaginous skeleton fish, sharks, and stingrays, and the order osteoctes are the bony skeletal fishes. Birds Characterized as warm-blooded vertebrate animals that have wings and feathers. Warm-bloodedness refers to the animal's ability to maintain a constant body temperature, regardless of the temperature of its environment. There are 27 orders of birds. The four main groups of birds are perching birds, and examples are robins, sparrows, and cardinals. Flightless birds are the ostriches, rays, and penguins. Birds of prey are the eagles, owls, and seagulls. And the water birds are the flamingos, ducks, and geese. Mammals. They are characterized by specific features, even though other animals may possess some of the same features. Characteristics include Mammals are vertebrate animals. They are warm-blooded animals. They are very young which are nourished by milk. Mammals have large brain which makes them quick learners. They are partially covered with hair. Their skin contains wet glands. Their hearts are made up of four chambers. Family Order Family order is a taxonomic rank used in classifying organisms generally below the class and comprised of families sharing a set of similar nature or character. The types of family order example is primate. All primate species possess adaption for climbing trees as they all descended from tree dwellers. Order primates is divided into two groups, the prosimians and the anthropoids. Prosimians. This includes the bush babies of Africa, the lemurs of Madagascar, and the lorises, potos, and tarsiers of the Southeast Asia. Anthropoids include monkeys, apes, and humans. The next type of family order is the carnivora, an order of placental mammals that have specialized in primarily eating flesh. Examples are cats, lions, tigers, panthers, dogs, wolves, jackals, bears, raccoons, skunks, and many more. Artiodactyla, or cloven hoof mammals. Many living artiodactyls have evolved features that are adapted for life on open grasslands. Many living artiodactyls have evolved features that are adapted for life on open grasslands. Include such familiar animals such as sheep, goats, camels, pigs, cows, deer, giraffes, and antelopes. Most of the world's species of large land mammals are artiodactyls. Rodentia, comprising relatively small knowing mammals having a single pair of incisors in each jaw that grow from persistent pulps and bear enamel chiefly in front to produce a chisel the only mammal capable of true fight comprises one-fifth of mammalian species. The name is influenced by the hand-like wings of bats, which are formed from four elongated fingers covered by a continuous membrane. Cetacea are aquatic mammals constituting the inferior order. It includes whales, dolphins, and porpoises. They have tails rather than hind limbs, and they have flippers instead of forearms.